Hey, 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 welcome to the Let Me Stress You Out Show. Welcome to the Let Me Stress You Out Show. What's up, y'all? This is the Let Me Stress You Out Show, and I'm live again. Ready to get it in. What's up, the Lachelle Miles? What's up, Brendan Beverly? What's up, Danielle? What's the D from the UK? From the United Kingdom, also known as Liverpool. What's happening, Brandon? Beverly happy? Is it hunch day already? Hank Norman, what's happening, brother? What's up, Hank? What's up, Jimmy? Uh, Jimmy, 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 hey, gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give what's up, Jimmy? My partner, Jimmy Paul, and then fell through. Okay, I got some boogie bros in the building today. Yeah, hang in there with us, brother. Bro, brother, Jimmy. Hang in there with us, Jimmy. I need you. And the Lord, what's happening, baby? What's up, Teresa Davis? How you doing? Josephine. J-O-S-E-P-H-I-N-E. What's up, baby? What's up, Danielle with a D? What's happening, Kenyatta Carter? I don't know, I already said Danielle again. What's up, Teresa Davis? Touchdown, baby. How are you? Yeah, it's a hunch day. On the Let Me Stretch You Out show in this thing. It's a Hunch day on the Let Me Stress You Out show. I say what I say, cause I know what I know. Hunching is the way of life that all y'all did. And some of y'all doing it to this day. And I, was, <laughs> and even that, just like it was when you was kids. There it is. I couldn't think of it quick enough. Keisha Richardson, what's happening, baby? What's up, Marie? Rodrigo, what's happening? Hump Day saving lives. You got them right, Rodrika. M. Harrison. Is Isora. Isora Will Willis. What's happening, Isora? What's up, Keisha? What kind of Keisha is you? Is you a tuck Keisha, a mug Keisha, a look Keisha? Which Keisha is you? Because I need to keep my Keishas in order, baby. I know a lot of shit. I know some shit. Hey, listen. On oh, when Hunch Day started with a variation of a name of a with a woman. Name Keisha of a sort. So whatever Keisha you is, I know exactly what you've been doing. You've been hunching. Sharon from Buffalo, Sharon Langford, you've been hunching too. I don't care if you're from Buffalo, baby. I was hunching in that cold out there. Playing hide and catch and kiss and get a little bit. Playing, playing hunch in the closet. Playing house. You was playing all kind of games where it involved boot on booty contact when you was a kid. Some of y'all was some hunches with your shorts on. Some of y'all was a hunches with your jeans on. Joy, uh, Gus McGee, I like to bring them back to the days of hunching of, of old. When if somebody try to act like it's not a real thing no more, like people don't be hunching on each other no more. Yes, they do. Shawana Shanks, come on now. They hunch to this day. It's grown folks in here still hunching. Marsha, Marsha Lewis, come on, Marsha. Now that's it. Marsha, you got the you got one of the senior citizens' names of the day today, Marsha. And I know you was hunching back in the day, and you probably still hunching. You know how long it takes to get coochie from a girl named Marsha? Oh, it takes a while, baby. You know why? Because she's going to make you hunch on her for 45 to 50 minutes. If you total up all the hunching you done did in your hugs, and when you was naked before she let you get that coochie, that's about a hundred, a hundred hunches you done had on, on a Marsha before you get that coochie, I promise you. Marsha, baby, don't sit up and act like you ain't no hunter with no name like Marsha. I tell you that, Marsha, ain't gonna be no more baby Marshas, okay? Stop naming these children Marsha. This it. That's it. That Marsha, you the last of the Marshas, okay? You got the senior citizen name of the day, baby. You was hunting when hunting was, a, it's a person named Marsha has been hunting in every generation since George Washington. Think about it. It's been a hunting Marsha way back to George Washington. Yeah, what's up, Danielle, with the Liberty Vice President said, hey, Denise, welcome back. Welcome back, Denise, baby. Let me see where Denise said. Denise King, oh, what's up, Tina Ronnie? I ain't even see you done snuck up in here. Yeah, Marsha Lewis is in this bitch. Oh, yeah. Shayna came through, too. Shayna, that's Marsha right there. She gonna be joining the baguettes, but uh, she needs to get that upliftment today, however. She needs to get that senior citizen name of the day trophy. 
Because I bet not go to a hospital and there be a baby Marsha Lewis in there. I'm going to be like, who named this baby this? Who named this young two, uh, 2022 baby Marsha? You know this hospital is filled with truth and saint and blaze baby names. And you naming uh, people Marsha in the 2022? Stop doing that. Change this baby name before he hit the birth certificate. What's happening, uh, Erica Mason? How you doing, baby? What's up, Charmon Johnson Griffin Shanks? Yeah, it's a happy hunch day Wednesday. Y'all like to call it hump day. Like it's you're, you're adding struggle into your life, I feel. Lay Jenkins. Oh, Lay Jenkins. What, what is that? Lee? Lee or Lay? Share the live, Lee or Lay. Share the live so I can get some more Lee or Lays in here. It's L E I G L E I G H. It's Lee Jenkins. Lee Jenkins. What's that in Lee Jenkins or Lee Jenkins? Oh, Denise Kingdom got flued out, baby. Oh, shit. What's that? Okay, good. She's Look at Erica Mason said, Fantabulous. Uh, I see you, hunties. What's Yeah, Maria Davis. What's that in, baby? I see you, baby. I see Maria Davis and MJZ. Yeah. Okay, hold up. You know, let's say our little tribute. Let's give our little tribute first. Because this fall moon that passed away today, and I would be remiss as a comedian if I did not acknowledge that. And I'm going to make him proud. Ain't no time for him to get sad. He, he left a legacy of, of, of comedians who, who used the N-word with such grace and poise like myself. I'm going to have a lovely nigga day today on the show in honor of Paul Mooney. You're going to hear me saying the N-word a little more than I would usually say it. They might even block this bitch. After they see how I done used the N-word in the, on behalf of Paul Mooney today, baby. What's happening, Drewski from New York? You know, Paul Mooney was also from Louisiana, just like me. You know, he was old country boy, and he ain't take no... He ain't take... He ain't cut, cut no corner. You damn right, Amy Ross with the sauce. He ain't cut no corners. That's the word I was looking for. Hell yeah, so rest in peace, Paul Mooney, and I'm friends with Paul Mooney, two sons, Daryl, uh, Daryl Moon, the Mooney twins, they're two comedians, they, you would think they was young, but they older than me, uh, Daryl, uh, uh, Paul Mooney, first two sons, for the white lady, yeah, or uh, for the light skinned lady, they mama was white, but they damn near came out white, the Mooney twins, but, Condolences to the Mooney twins and the Mooney family. And rest in peace, Paul Mooney. And I will be using that nigga. I'm going to be saying, I'm going to be calling somebody a black nigga, white nigga, Chinese nigga today. I will call you every type of nigga there is in the book. And you're gonna, some of y'all going to be a UK nigga. Some of y'all going to be a white nigga. Some of y'all going to be, uh, um, yeah, I, hate, I don't care if you don't like the word. Rest in peace, Paul Mooney. He did the service. He made it possible for us to say what we feel, baby. I don't care if you don't like the word. Grow up. That's what I'm going to tell you. If you, don't, if you can't stand somebody saying a little N-word around you, grow up. You have a choice whether you want to say it or not, but you don't control nobody else. So if they say it, you just you understand it comes from a legacy, a long line. You got damn right. He didn't make it. He sacrificed his... He sacrificed his money. He sacrificed his finances so that he can kick down doors and not be no Uncle Tom. You feel what I'm saying? Because they might block me for saying all this to y'all, but this is the Let Me Stretch You Out show, and I am a stand-up comedian of 15 years, and I've met Paul Mooney on several occasions in LA and DC, and I met him a couple of times. Great brother, and I'm so thankful that he came along and told the white folks what it is from the black perspective so that I could come in and tell them what it is from the new black perspective. Because <laughs> it's, it's, cause that was a generation ahead of ours. So, Paul Mooney, thank you so much for your services, brother. And I'm going to definitely hold it down for you. I hope it's some niggas in heaven. Paul Mooney going to be mad as hell if he get up there and Jesus is white. Oh, Paul Mooney going to be up there like, I know. I know this is not, I know this is not the heaven that I was going to come to. I know this isn't it. I know this isn't it. This isn't the heaven, no, 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 no. This isn't the heaven that I would come to. Where, 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 where's the niggas? What did y'all do with the niggas? You know what? The white folks have gone so crazy 
they done kicked the niggas out of heaven. They done said you niggas gotta go to hell, even though Jesus is Jesus is a whole white man up here. Can you believe what he's saying? I just got I just died and went to heaven, and it's not heaven because there's not no niggas in it. This they done they trying to trick. No, no, look at them. I know what they're doing. No, I know what they're doing. They trying to trick us. They trying to trick us. Them white folks are trying to trick us into thinking that this is the heaven that we're supposed to go to and this ain't it. Where is the niggas? I need the niggas to come to. Where is all my Chinese? Where's my Asians? Where's my Chinese? Huh? Where's my Chinese? I don't see no niggas in here. Where's the Afghanistan niggas? Where's the Middle Eastern niggas? Where's my, where's my uh, Jamaican niggas? Where's my Haitian niggas? Where's my niggas at? Uh, Jesus. I get up here and all of a sudden you're white. Now, this isn't how the Bible was written. The Bible wasn't written for you to be white. What, what are you doing to be a white man? Paul Mooney would have gonna go up there and have a, it's gonna be a, boy, I wish they could record it. I wish they could record Paul Mooney walking into heaven. London Brown, who all do them, tag somebody who do them damn impressions uh, and make it set it up and do a sketch where Paul Mooney walking to heaven and all heaven is white people. And all the white people he talked about, too. Ooh, 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 ooh. What if it's just full with all the Marilyn Monroe, Marilyn Monroe? That was a white lady. She was a hooker. She was a, she was a hooker. And because she was white, oh, Marilyn Monroe. Oh, Marilyn, Marilyn Monroe. Oh, she was a hooker. And y'all knew it. Y'all knew it. She knew it. She, she fucked all them boys. She fucked all them niggas. She fucked everybody to get on, to, make, to do success. She got on. That's what that's what he gonna say. That's what he said about Marilyn Monroe. He gonna end up going to heaven, and they gonna be saying Marilyn Monroe gonna, gonna be right there. She gonna be the uh, she gonna be the uh, the Holy Spirit. You gonna be like, oh shit, I know, I know, I I definitely know that the Holy Spirit is in Marilyn Monroe. It's because she's white. Cleopatra was black. They trying to make her a nigga. Cleopatra was a nigga. They trying to make a whole. Oh, she's Cleopatra Jones, a white lady. Played by Marilyn Monroe, and now all of a sudden they get to heaven, and Marilyn Monroe is the is the Holy Spirit. How is this? You from Africa? Jesus said, "Nigga, you you know the Holy Spirit supposed to be a nigga." <laughs> Shout out to hey, I had to use my goddamn meet and greet portion up. Aisha, you know I had to use my meet and greet because I done seen Paul Moon. I grew up watching Paul Moon, and I met him in real life two times. Such, such the same nigga as he is on stage, as he is, was in real life. He was not faking for nobody, you understand me? That was who he was. And he got on stage and was able to be who he was and say who he say say what he feel. And that's what I want to be able to do as well. I want to be able to say what the fuck I feel about everything. Hey, Amy Ross with the songs. I did that, baby. Come on now. Andrea Hayes, where you been, baby? I missed you too. Andrea Hayes, you done finally came through. Where you been at? What you been? Let me chastise you. What you been doing? Where you been going at? What you been shopping? What you been doing? What you been working? You working for the man? Out here in the system? What you been doing? Building a business? Where the hell you been at, Andre Hayes? I hate when my book ends be coming for a long time and disappear for a minute. Where the hell? What you got too busy doing? You couldn't come watch Boogie B. Huh? What you been up to? Huh? You better not have been uh, out here hoeing or hoochie coochie and uh, none of that. You let that diggling take you away from the show, some of y'all. Some of my boogie bros so deep in some coochie they can't even watch the Let Me Stress You Out show like they're supposed to. Y'all better come up out of that coochie and, go, and come to the Let Me Stress You Out show. Come up off them ding and watch the Let Me Stress You Out show every day. What you too busy to do? You better not work at a doctor. You said too many doctor visits and, and sleeping. Look, you better set your alarm under your age. Well, he, hey, dog, I got the medicine right here. That you can you can go to that doctor, but you better come to this doctor as well, or else you ain't gonna get your full healing. Cause when I get that feeling, I won't boogie be healing. Hey, I'm gonna give you a healing over here, baby. Come on through, Amy Ross with the thoughts. You know every day. This is much needed to y'all lives. Y'all be bullshitting, but this is much needed. 
working love. You better let them tell the white people to let you get that little hour to watch Let Me Stretch You Out show. Ain't going to take you all day to do that now. I don't care if you've been working. That ain't no good excuse to me. If they fire you for watching the Let Me Stretch You Out show, then quit anyway and start your business. Start your own business doing exactly what you was doing at their job. Come on, Denise King. I know you all got lives, but you all need to be coming to the Let Me Stretch You Out show because you need it. Yes, Red Fox, Miles, maybe the Robin Harris. Who put all these names in here? Oh, Erica Mason, so you know something about comedy. Yes, it's a whole, I hope all of them is sure in heaven because when I get up there, I can't wait to meet them. I hope heaven real, just so it can be like a little party up there. Like it will be, look at Sammy Davis Jr. Oh, look at Sammy Davis Jr. He's still smoking them cigars. Look at him. Up in heaven, he's still smoking them cigars. I wish I could get up there to heaven and see all them uh, Flip Wilson, Richard Pryor, Moms, May the Red, Fox Robin. Oh, my God. Burning. Oh, my God. I just want to let listen to him. I ain't going to say shit. Um, I ain't gonna say a damn thing. I'm gonna just listen to them and see what they got to, what they had to tell. I know, I know you. You said I know who looked funny too. Okay, yeah, well, me. What's that in the Rosa deal? Yeah, Andre, my two Andreas is back. Look, are they back to back comment now? Andrea Hutchins and Andrea Hayes. Andrea Hayes been uh. She been slipping and dipping. Andrea Hutchins been coming a little bit more, but she been slipping and dipping as well. You said you work nights and you sleep during the day as a part of the afternoon LLLBVS. You can't sleep the whole afternoon. Wake up for this hour. Get you something to eat. Put this show on. Hold your phone. Walk around the house. Get you a little something to eat. Drink you some good spring water. Take your sea moss. Pop your verb energy ball when you get your verb energy balls ready for you when you pop up in the morning. Order these from my link in my bio. Verb energy. Verb is an action word. Take action. And order this so you can be able to work your ass off and watch the Let Me Stress You Out show every day on IG and Facebook. Verb energy balls. The link is in my bio. Now, that'll help you and you out, Andrea Hayes and Hutchins, if y'all ain't ordered your verb energy bars you need to, because y'all working a whole lot, working your working your souls to the bone. What's happening, uh, Deborah Gooden? How you doing, baby? What's up, Wana? Wana back? Wana back? Wana back and Cabrera back? I got my book ass coming. Okay, I see my book ass that came through today. Somebody must be sharing the live. What's up, Coca Mocha? Coca Mocha? What's happening, Coca Mocha? What your name is? Ain't no damn Coca Mocha. How the hell your name gonna be Coca? What that? What kind of name is that? Y'all share the live like this. Press share right here. You see that word? It says share. Look just the share. Look just like yours. Unless you got an iPhone. But then look. Press post on your page like that. Or share it. Swipe up and then send it to everybody who pops up in there. Cause why not? What they gonna do? What they gonna do? Be mad at you because you sent something to them? So what? This fa this Facebook is supposed to send something to people. I done sent it to people who are already in here. Shit. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. I sent it to the damn... I'm about to send it to the Mooney Twins. That's what I'm about to do. They need to watch this. Y'all got to tag them in there. It's at T-H-E Mooney M-O-N-N-Y Twins. M O O M O O N Y. My other name, what's your other, what's your first name? What's your first name? Uh Pokemoka. I gotta introduce you to Because I gotta make sure you ain't new. Let me if you knew, I need to make sure you good. Benny and Boogie, a comedy team. Imagine that. Who the hell is Benny? Benny Hill? I took some C B D pills to calm my nerves. Can y'all call them? Take them CBD pills. Just smoke your little weed. Shit, what they gonna do? Fire you? So what? You need that weed in your system. If they fire you, start your own business. I be trying to go and I have to, then I have to order some. I be trying, I have to go order some then. You got the damn order some, baby. It'll help you out with your life. You need this. I sure be, like Boogie mentioned me in his live. You got damn right I mentioned you in your live. Every day I mention your ass. And you ain't been coming. <laughs> I try to be my best of person. 
to make a plus, I take my own. You take your son to martial arts? Well, you can let your son watch the Let Me Shut You Out show. How old is he? If he's old enough to do karate, he's old enough to watch the Let Me Shut You Out show. Because I'm going to tell him, I'm going to lead him right. I'm going to help you raise him. What's going on, Cabrilla? Cabrilla, real talk, your mama was tripping, right? <laughs> Cabrilla name is Q-A-I-B-R-E-A. And she says her name is Cabrilla. It don't get no two black parents than that. It don't get two more black parents than us. The two parents that are named you Cabrilla. Ah, that's two black people right there, baby. They picked that name from the Mount Negroes. You know where I always say it came from. Where you can see Negroes grow. But you stress out those ex-NBA players, Tom Minton, Kwame Brown. I'm going to have to research that one. Kelly said, keep up the good work, bro. Thanks for keeping it real. Kelly, I appreciate you, Cam. Hey, Kel, man, you ain't make up. You got to make sure you coming through, man. Every day, I'm right here. Standing here talking straight to you, Kelly Castro. You need to be here. When I say I mentioned you, I mentioned your ass. Now, order your verb energy balls, too. Shit, don't play me. Yeah, let me see. And the Lord said, yes, I changed it because I don't like the subscription-based company. I need to control my order. Me, too. You can change it, baby. You, you just order your first one. And after that, then you can change you don't, you don't need to. Be, you don't need to be a subscription. If you can't afford that, if your money ain't like that. I don't want you to have to do that if your money ain't like that. So, Cheryl Lockhart said, hey fam, what's up? Oh, that must be one of Cheryl Lockhart's folks. What's up, Coca Mocha? Coca Mocha, what Coca Mocha name, real name is, probably. I bet you it's probably something named like, I bet you a name like uh, uh, Chattel or something. Chattel, Coca Mocha, what's your name, Courtney? Courtney or Chattel? Coca Boca, I bet your real name is something like that. Christine, Courtney, not Christine. It's, it's Courtney, uh, uh. Oh, Cabrilla said her real name is Satira. Satira, that's even worse, baby. I don't know which one is worse, Cabrilla or Satira. You might well just change it to Satira. Because it's still a two black parent name of the day for sure. You get the trophy either way. Yo, either way you put your name in there. This a happy hunch day, baby. Get your hunch on because your name is Satira. It's every Satira I've never met. It's a huncher for sure. Woo. So you're going to have to hunch on a girl named Satira for a long time before she give up that coochie. Your name Cheryl. I knew it. I, that was my next guess because my mom named Cheryl. But hugs and Cheryl with an S. Coca Mocha, I knew you was Cheryl. Cheryl Pepsi Riley, baby. Early in the morning. Andrea Hudson, Josephine Scott, y'all in here. Kiki, okay, what's all that Kiki in about? Larry said, good evening, y'all. I'm up in here. Rest in peace. You missed the whole tribute, Larry. Go back and watch the beginning of this episode. Just swipe back. Swipe to the beginning once I post it. Go back and watch the Paul Mooney tribute. It's worth it, brother. It's worth it because I'm one of the greats too. Shit. I, I ain't got my flowers yet. I ain't got my I might be dead and gone before I get my shit. When I be, when I be dead and gone, I want my flowers just like I'm giving Paul Mooney his flower. But I gave him to him while he was here. And I gave it to him. I gave Paul Mooney his flowers every day by saying what I say. By saying, by, by saying, calling myself a nigga and I come from a long line of niggas. And I'm able to say that because of Paul Mooney. My daddy was a nigga. He wasn't no upstanding black man in the community. He was a nigga. My daddy, if you get in a car accident or something, he, if, let, let's say a train hit you. My daddy did the one that go say, God damn, boy. Ooh, I wish that motherfucker had hit me. I would have been paid. If that ain't a nigga, I don't know who is. That was my daddy's favorite thing to do. And no matter what Travis did happen to you, he'd be like, damn, I would have got paid. I mean, like, you would have been dead, but you, you talking about you would have got paid. You would have been out of here if that train would have hit your ass. 
He like, oh, I wish that train would have hit me. Boy, I would have helped track with I would have owned them track. No, you wouldn't. You would have been passed away. That is a nigga. I come from a long line of them, man. I know a nigga when I see one, and I'm one. Yeah. And I love people who are one as well. Just the, and, 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 and I say it because it's a cultural thing. The culture that I am, the culture that I was raised in, we was niggas. We said niggas, we called niggas, that, that meant that you was our one of us. You came from the same type of struggle as us. My Dutch is almost gone. Hurry up, Boogie. Flowers while I'm here. Ooh, okay, I'm waiting on y'all. You see the damn... They giving you your trophy while you up here uh, for being uh, named some terror. We just gave you your flowers. We done gave you. That's why I see. That's why you see all them roses from my book yet. Because they know I like my flowers. The rest of the people are moving. Y'all go back and watch the beginning of this episode. If you just tuning in right now, go back and watch it after I post it. Watch the replay. If you, did, if you skip to this point, go back. Watch the Paul Mooney tribute. is worth it. Because I'm, I am him. 2.0. Yeah. I'm the Microsoft. I'm the I'm the I'm the Google I'm the Google of Paul Mooney. I'm the new wave of it. Boogie does it for the Lord. Paul Mooney did it for the Lord as well. Thank you so much, Thorn, for stopping through, baby. I ain't see you, but I see you now. Listen, let me tell y'all what's going on. We got a problem here. We got a conundrum of the day. We got a doozy. Somebody needs to put some. If somebody needs stressing out, remember that that's first. You can always type in somebody who needs to get roasted. And and I'm talking about somebody personally in your life. Not their name. Just put in what they've done to you to deserve a roast for the Lord, which I like to refer to as a stress out. If they did something to deserve that, type in what they did and watch how sidetrack I get. Because if somebody did something to you, they did something to Boogie B. And I'm on their ass like the baby fat cat. I'm on their ass. Joe, time to open up the inbox. You already know what it is. Joe, let me tell you what happened, brother. My... My Boogie Bro inboxed me. Cash out old school dance. Oh, Teresa Davis, you got your disposable income. Okay, let me check. Let me check it, baby, because cause some of y'all done hit that cash out knowing I'm going to cut up. You know I'm going to cut up if you hit that cash out. Y'all know I'm going to do it. Oh, yes. And some of y'all just got so much dis- Y'all, some of y'all just got so much disposable income, you can hit that magic number to get that dance out of me. Now, I, let, let me tell y'all this. Some of y'all be like, damn, why he ain't do no cash out dance for me? That's because you didn't put enough in there for me to dance for. Now, you know this dingling ain't going to get hard for no dollar. Now, hey, that's two dollars, five dollars. I mean, I, I ain't doing that bad. You know what I mean? I am a stand-up comedian, so... I only get excited for that magic number, and I think today Teresa Davis hit that magic number. <clears throat> Teresa Davis, let me tell you something, baby. You hit that number to take a nigga back to the thing. 1990, Chap jumps up on a scene with a ling and a hardcore dream. Nigga, this is an old school dance for the cash out. Y'all remember that? Old school dance for the cash out. Old school dance for the cash out. I said, old school dance for that cash out. Ooh, Teresa Davis, you hit that number, baby. One is the loneliest number that you ever see. <laughs> Teresa Davis, baby, you got that disposable income, baby. Everybody ain't got it like you, now shit. That's why you able to do that, now. Feel like... You doing your part in the society. You're going to get your, you're going to reap your benefits. Trust me. If the first floor dollar can send it back to your tenfold, so can Boogie B. I'm going to send it on back to your tenfold. What they say in the Bible? In the Bible, they say if you, if you tithe, you shall, if you shall tithe, you shall get your money back tenfold through the Lord. And guess what? You're going to get your money back tenfold through the Lord when you hit that cash out for Boogie B. And guess what you're going to get also? 
you gonna get an old school dance for that cash out. Ooh, put me in, Coach. Hey, you already know what it is, Andre Hayes. When you hit that magic number, hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> this is the church of Let Me Stress You Out in Christ, pastor by your boy, comedian Boogie B, a.k.a. the Lord know I'm a hunter, because this hunch day Wednesday. He sees what I had done when I was little, and he sees it right now. And he's still accepting me into the fold. I'm going to get into heaven. Don't worry about me. Y'all just follow me. The, hey, listen, that's an old school dance for that cash app. I appreciate it, Teresa Davis. And I appreciate everybody who hit that cash app like-minded. Uh, uh, Don Vivian McCullough, you already know our old school dance for you all the time. Because you... Yeah, your sum totals always hit well over the, the magic number. You know, that's why I say yours every time. I say yours every time too, goddamn all of them. I say yours every time too, Tybo. Tybo, let that from yesterday. Ty, thank you so much, Ty, Ty, from yesterday. You hit, y'all done told it up to hit that magic number. You found out of it? Okay, boom. All right, let's go. Let me tell y'all what's in the inbox. My book out, my book at in my, in my book at, what is a book at? A book at is an upstanding woman of substance and noteworthy vagina. She has to be a woman of substance and what you call a noteworthy vagina, meaning that someone wrote home or phoned home about that vagina after they received it. That was, that's how good it was. It was purple pack of skills. It was great. Now, she inboxed me and said that her man, she just found out her man, Loaned his ex a thousand dollars. You'll be right back while I catch y'all on IG. Oh, wait, you going, Brandon? Your, you said your hands hurting from size. I feel like a like a third wheel. Brand, damn, Brandon Beverly. Who feels like a third? Oh, that's Tiffany. Oh, Tiffany says she feels like a third wheel. Is that Tiffany? Oh, yeah, that is Tiffany. Oh, Tiff, that's okay, baby. You should have smoked your little something or something like that, baby. You got to start smoking them indicas, I guess. Stop smoking that weed to get you down, okay? You need to smoke the weed to bring you up and uplift your weed. You can't smoke the regular no more. Brandon says you're going to make me double back. You got them right. Okay, this is called, this show is called The X-Loan. Just help me out with The X-Loan. Your boyfriend, Denise King, loaned his ex $1,000. How you find out? The ex gave the thousand dollars back. Nope, I'm not lending to no ex, period. Damn, but what if your ex was good to you and y'all when y'all were together, you owe her a lot of money or he owe her a lot of money just off her uh, having his bag, blah, blah, blah. Do they have a joint account? No, they don't. They do not have a joint account. Or let's say he didn't take it out of y'all joint account. Y'all got a joint account, but he didn't take it out of that. He just gave her a thousand dollars. The only reason you even know is because uh, she put an envelope and mailed it back, and, and she put on a, a, a what she did. Uh, she had somebody drop it off over there, and it said that it didn't have no name on it. She opened it up. It's a thousand dollars. Thank you so much for loaning me that thousand uh, that. $900 in my time of need. I put an extra 100 in there because you loaned it to me. Thank you so much for letting me do that. You're such a good man. Thank you so much. I appreciate you and I appreciate what we had. I'm good luck on your new relationship. Ah, uh, what if the note said that? <laughs> Denise King said it better be child support. Oh, Shayna said, hell no, hell no. You ain't loaning nobody nothing, huh? They not loaning nobody nothing. If he gave her money, that's his business. She gives it back, so it's good money. Okay. And the Lord said, you can loan your, you can loan your ex some money if they need it. Shit. Danielle with the D says, she just an ex or a baby mother. She just an ex. Just an ex, ain't no baby mama drama. Baby mama drama. We don't have that today, baby. This is straight up just your ex, and you in a new relationship with Adna Lloyd. And let's say men and Adna Lloyd together, y'all. That's Yolanda. Her real name is Yolanda Booth. 
Yolanda, let's see me and you was together. We living together. And my ex just it happens a note to pop to the house that says, thank you for loaning me the 900. I put an extra 100 in for you being such a good man to loan it to me in my time of need. Thank you. I wish you well with your relationship. <laughs> That's a good friendly ex, ain't it, Robbie GC? And, and you, and you, is your man cologne hundred thousand? Is it cool? Come on, Robbie GC. You know what I'm gonna say? You're late, but you're right on time for this rhyme. Good luck on your new relationship. Wow. Mm. Teresa Davis said, "I have loaned to an ex. The relationship didn't work." But he's a good dude, and he paid it back. Mm. Teresa D Davis said it's okay to loan to your ex. Hey, Teresa Davis said that's cool. Shit, uh, and and Adna Lloyd said that that's cool. And, and, and Andrea uh, Hutch Hayes, it's two damn Andreas in here. Andrea Hayes. Said he should have been a man and told this woman that he was going to loan it to her first. And the Lord said if that's his money, he can give it to who he want to. And she gave it back, so that's good. Were they married? I don't know. I don't know. Let's just say it's an ex. I don't care if it's a husband or a girlfriend or boyfriend. It's the same. It's pretty much the same. Long who's some money? I didn't hear that right. Come on, Denise King, follow along, baby. <laughs> follow along, okay? Do they have a joint bank account? No, I'm just going backwards in the comments. Kenyatta, yes. Even if I did, I charge him interest. The fuck? Ooh, Andrea Hutchins, Hutchins said she going to loan money to her ex while she in her new relationship. But she going to charge him interest on the money. She's going to sell him the money until he give it back to her. Hmm, okay. Brandon says money is one of the problems in relationships. One of them is a lot of the money is a lot of the problems in a lot of relationships. And that's why I'm here for you, Brandon Beverly. That's why Boogie B is here for you so I can help you make this not a problem for your relationship. Things fall apart, but they don't have to be terrible situations. Let's normalize breaking up and maintaining friendships, Adna Lloyd says. <laughs> Adna Lloyd, <laughs> that's, that's a, hilarious, man. Oh, wow, you guys are so poignant today. I got to put my white voice on for you. Let me do my white voice for y'all. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow there, Adna Lloyd. That's hysterical. <laughs> it's hysterical, Adna Lloyd. I can't believe you'd say something like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We need to normalize <laughs> breaking up and staying friends and loaning each other money. <laughs> it's cool. It's great. It's fine. It's peachy cream. Loan of money, I don't care. <laughs> Woo, boy. Don said, I'm married, so for me, you would be asking us both. What if he loaned somebody, if you was married, though? What if he was married to him and he loaned some, his ex a thousand dollars? What if he have a separate account and he don't pull the money from your account? And he don't tell you that he loaned it to her. Now, well, now what? Now let's say it's your husband there, Don Vivian Jones McCullough. What is you going to do then? Now, I ain't putting him on the hot seat. Now, I ain't putting him on the hot seat. But what would you do, though? What would you say about that? Huh? What could you do? Crystal Trixie. It depends on what kind of ex. Do I trust him to keep his word, pay it back, or... He just lying to get it. That you don't know. You never know. You can never know for real, uh, Crystal Beverly. Uh, I mean, Crystal. Damn, Crystal Trick, Trixie. Um, looking at Brandon Beverly name. That's why I said that. Um, regardless, Boogie, it's coming from our household. 
Well, I guess you could kind of say that. It is kind of coming from your household. But that might be a cool ass ex, like Adna Lloyd said. That's they real tight like that. They loan money back and forth without your permission. You know what I mean? They don't need to talk to you and consult with you to loan the money that ain't yours. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, what if it's what if he gifts her ex a thousand dollars? Now, let's, okay, okay, Joel Buku, I'm glad you said that. Respect is in communication is what Brandon Beverly said. If you would have respect, you got to communicate it to your wife. Okay, Ben. Matty Soul, what's happening? My ex was sneaky. He's a, he a problem when there's, when there's money problem. Yep, I said it. Okay. He probably would have loaned, yeah, he probably would have loaned the two of those Teresa Davis. He would have loaned it to her, huh, Teresa Davis? He would have loaned her the, uh, you think he would have loaned his extra thousand dollars and got it back from her? Jamal Hijack, what's happening, Jamal? Hey, Jamal Hijack, let me tell you something. Would you let your woman loan her ex a thousand dollars? What what if you found out because her ex came over there to drop off the thousand dollars to your house? Come on, Hijack. Tell me what you doing in this situation. What if the nigga show up at the crib? What's happening? Uh, what's up? I know, uh, yeah. I just wanted to give you this, uh, this little uh, check right here, man. This is for your lady. She gave me, you know, you remember me? Yeah, yeah. she ain't never told you about me. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm Tyrell. You feel what I'm saying? I'm Tyrell. So, you know, just, you know, just ask about Tyrell. But anyway, she had loaned me this bread, man. I was in the jam. I appreciate y'all, man. I hope y'all have a good relationship, man. Thank you, brother. And I'm talking about this nigga come over there with the dingling out. You know a nigga come over there to intimidate you. He gonna have basketball shorts on with his dingling hanging out. And you gonna have to notice it because the nigga standing in front of your cock diesel like this. And you gonna have to notice it. He trying to play a game with you. He bullying you. But he ain't saying nothing bad to you. He just gave the money back to your lady because your lady loaned him the money. Now what you're doing, uh, Jamal? Hey, Linda Williams. That nigga Tyrell. I'm Tyrell. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She told you about me? <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I mean, you know, it's cool. That, you know, I appreciate y'all, man. She told me how y'all was. Y'all relationship good. So, I mean, she loaned me this little change. I appreciate it, man. I, 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 I threw an extra hundred on there. Tell her I put an extra hundred on it, too, for her loaning me that, man. I was in the jail. Y'all have a good one, brother. I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. Well, hey, hey yeah, tell her, hey. And, yeah, tell her, Javante, I said what up, too. I know I love something, yeah. Okay, yeah, tell Javante, I said what it is. This nigga is bullying you, and he giving the money back and bullying. Joe said, Boogie, don't hurt my lungs with laughter. I got it. Hey, you ain't got no health insurance? Go to Canada, uh, Joe. Shit, go to Canada to get you some health care, brother. They got it for free over there. They got it for the law, I heard. Get you a Canadian girl. Put some ding good dingling on a Canadian girl. You'll get you some health, health insurance. If it's dingling good enough. Let's be real, most people are not going to tell their person if they loan their ex some money, uh, Crystal said, because it comes out the household. You might make the money, but in the relationship, it's not yours. It's ours money. Ooh, Crystal said it's not yours. It's ours money. You gave her some of our money. They're not Bill and Linda Gates. Both the folks need to decide in a relationship is potentially worth a thousand dollars. Wow. Ooh, that's a good one. Damn, Erica Mason, you're coming in on your Maya Angelou shit. I see. Okay, come on in, Marisol Williams. Hey, this girl said y'all ain't y'all ain't Bill and Melinda Gates. Y'all need to decide if your relationship is worth a thousand dollars. Now. Let me see. I think Vice President said from her poignant. Uh, past on the perspective. I think exes should remain in their position and can't be with a mate that has a relationship with outside of being cordial. No personal favors or communication. Thank you, Vice President, for that input, and I'm going to take that into consideration when I tell y'all this. Hold on, Shana. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, hold on, I'm trying to look. <clears throat> hold on. Let me get my tea first. Teresa Davis, I'm glad you said that as well. You said, ain't no, anytime you got a loan money, there's a risk of not getting it back, and you shouldn't loan it if you can't afford to not have it back. So don't loan it, just give it. Now, let me tell you what's going on here, y'all. It's time for the WWBBD portion of the show, but I want to tell y'all something first. This is what I will tell y'all first. First, I want to tell you that the, the, the amount of communication that you have with your ex is a problem for them to be able to ask you for $1,000. First off, I'm in this household with you and I'm putting this great dingling on you. I'm putting great dingling on you and being a good man to you. You telling me another man can reach out to my, my woman at no and, and and say, hey, I need a thousand dollars because you loaned it to me for my mama's heart surgery. And you gonna just give it to him and say, here you go your thousand dollars for your for your mama's heart surgery. Wait, how long? How well you know what's going on here? How long y'all been knowing each other? Y'all exes? Y'all still cool enough for you to come? Hey, I ain't cool enough with no ex degree for them to be asking me for no damn thousand dollars. How? I don't care if you is Bill and Melinda Gates. If, if you ask me, a thousand dollars is a lot of money, period, to anybody, whether you got a billion or not. That's not borrowing money. That's somebody who, especially not from somebody who I used to have sex with. If I, if you, if, if you used to have sex with this nigga, you bet not loan this nigga shit. I don't care if he want a, uh, I don't care if he asks you for a loose dollar. No, bitch. What you giving him a loose dollar for? Just to go, that nigga don't get his own, tell him get his own loose dollar. He shouldn't have left you. If he would have left you, he wouldn't have had this damn problem. He could have actually could have got it out your account, y'all mutual account. No. Yeah, I, well, well, who else? Who else kin to his mom? How many other people, uh, kin folks, do he have? Because you should be the bottom of the list. So, so far, because y'all communication is a little too heavy for me, there, Admiral Lloyd. I'm not allowing you to have c- c- communication with your ex to the point where he can borrow a thousand dollars from you. I don't care if you got all the money and I don't have any money. If if me and you together, I don't care whose money is whose money. I don't care who money is your money and who money is where money. None of that makes a damn bit of difference to me, Don Vivian Jones McCullough. If you my woman and you decided to marry me and you and, and I come in there with zero dollars and zero cents and you have $1.4 billion. If you loan a nigga a thousand, come talk to me first. Any nigga. I don't care if it's a male, female. I don't care if it's, I don't care if it's a male, female, black, white, Chinese nigga. Any other nigga. You Bar, sent loaning money to a dude and me and you in a relationship and you ain't came and told me you was bar, lending somebody no thousand dollars I don't care if we was a millionaire and it's not my money but the simple fact that the amount of love and dingling that I'm putting on you you disrespectfully giving a nigga a thousand and this nigga comfortable enough to come to your house where I say to bring the money back so you and this nigga really cool y'all cooler than a motherfucker ain't you Oh, you and this nigga, is, is, oh, y'all besties, ain't you? Woo! He sure used to put dick in you, like, right before me. Uh, or a couple of years before me, or whatever. Hey, hell no. If he been in your coochie and you give him a thousand dollars without my permission, you out here tricking. You out here tricking. You ain't loaning nobody no goddamn thousand dollars. I don't care how much we got. I don't care. Iranya, I'm sorry, baby. This is a good relation. This is a healthy relationship. Ain't no loan and nobody no thousand unless you come to the other person and say, hey, I need to loan somebody a thousand dollars. And and then I'm going to be like, okay, well, cool. Wait, who is it that you trying to loan this money to? Oh, it's my ex Bernard. Your ex Bernard. Well, but y'all like, no, hey, whoa, whoa, how old Bernard is? 42. Well, shit, Bernard can figure out another way to get a thousand dollars, I'm sure. Of it. Is Bernard on crack? If Bernard, if Bernard is on, if not on, if, if he not on crack, then he ain't borrowed up all his resources yet. 
If you know he on crack, then he done asked every single other body before he got to you, and that's cool. But if he's not on go crack cocaine or methamphetamine, and he's asking you for the money right away, he ain't used all his resources yet. He need to go ask his brother, his uncle, his mama, his sister, his auntie. What about his other ex, the fat one? What about that one? He could ask her. She got. She's still single. Let her. Let him borrow something from a single ex, not a not an ex in a relationship with me. No hell no. But no, I don't need no thousand dollars that bad. What he needed for? What he needed for? A new leg. He got his leg chopped off too. Oh hell no. He don't need to give him Bernard the damn thing. Now he got insurance. Bernard got insurance. He how long ago he lost that leg? If he lost that leg while y'all was together, then hey, that's so that's his fault. He should have saved up the money that you gave him while y'all was together and got him a new leg. No. Hell no, Shawana Shanks. Ain't nobody loaning nobody no hundred dollars. I mean no thousand dollars when I'm in a relationship with her and it's not and it's cool. Now I ain't telling you I'm gonna break up with you, but I am telling you, hey, you out here tricking. Don't be out here tricking. Now you in a relationship. Now don't be out here tricking. This thing just came over here trying to intimidate me. Giving you the money back. Talk with his ding lean out. Hell no. This nigga giving you the money back and he come over here with the basketball shorts with the ding lean print. No draw. Disrespectful bastard. Don't have no disrespectful ass thing coming to drop no money off of any I don't care if you loan them a thousand and they paying you back tenfold. No, tell him, hold on. Don't come bring no two ten thousand over here. First off, he ain't told me you loaned the nigga a thousand. Why are you coming back with this? Hell no. It's Bernard on crack. No, him, what the hell y'all on and what y'all that cool for still? That's the real point. The point is, you're too cool with your ex. you too cool with your ex. You ain't supposed to be that cool with your ex. If you is cool with your ex and you in a perfectly healthy relationship and your, and your uh, uh, significant other will allow you to speak to your ex on a cordial basis, that's cool. But you, them being cordial and them asking for $1,000 is a big damn jump. Ain't it? Come on, Brandon, let me talk to Adnaloy real fast. Because Adnaloy said, it's cool. She gonna loan a nigga money. I wish that fuck you would. I wish the fuck you would loan a nigga a thousand dollars and me and you live together. I'm gonna be like, uh, baby, it's a nigga named Bernard out here said you loaned him a thousand dollars. Uh, he said he asked too. He said y'all go way back. His dingling is out. He got on basketball shorts. I already caught him getting that pause. I already caught a glimpse of the nigga trying to intimidate me. Now, come on in here. Let's highlight. Let's talk about this real quick. Now, what you going to go in there and do is you going to go in there and tell Bernard, don't come back to this goddamn house. And you going to tell Bernard, you know what? Keep the $1,000. Because I would rather you or me than me or you. No, 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 no. I'd rather, I'd rather me owe you this money. I I'd rather you owe me this money. This is what you're going to have to tell Bernard. Pay attention closer to it, the Lord. Say, Bernard, listen, I'd rather you owe me a thousand and don't give it back to me. Because I don't want this business exchange to continue on. Okay? Because if you feel this comfortable to ask me for a thousand and then you give me back the thousand, now we're in a business partnership. And my man is not comfortable with you coming around here trying to intimidate him with your uh, basketball shorts on. So put some underwear on next time you come over here to if you if you ever come over here. But I would hope that you wouldn't come over here again. And, and I'm thank I'm glad I got the chance to help you with the thousand, but go and keep it. We good on this side. We just gotta cut, cut off. I'm gonna give you a thousand dollars to cut off the communication, okay? Thank you so much. Don't don't feel comfortable enough to ask me for another one, okay? All right, thank you so much. Go on your way. That's what you're gonna have to tell Bernard. You gonna have to tell Bernard that. Hey, hell no, I ain't. I don't care what he need the money for. Nope, 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 nope. One leg, nope. Mama didn't insert, nope. None of that. Nope, thousand dollars. Nope, 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 nope. We don't got no thousand. You got a thousand to give, but if you do, give it to me. Shit, you got a separate account, and you want to give away a thousand dollars? Give it to the man that's putting the dick on you currently. Not the nigga who used to put the dick on you. Put it on the new dick, not the old dick. Yeah, no, no. Giving the first is an... You say giving it the first time 
is giving the ex another opportunity to ask again, don't do it. See, I would rather you than just, just, if they need it and you feel like it'll be on your heart, that God put it on your heart to give it to them. You're going to have to come tell me and we, and I'll go give it to Bernard. Give me the money. Say, here, go get this to Bernard because he asked me for, he asked me for a thousand dollars for an emergency kidney. I'm going to be like, damn, the nigga need a kidney? Well, look, he, look, he ain't going to be fucking you no way. He can't fuck you with that one kidney he got anyway. That new kidney ain't going to hold him up to fuck you no way. So what, so we can give him the thousand out there. But I'm going to go bring it to him. I'll bring it to him. Don't, don't tell him the address. I, I, I'll stop at a job and put it in an envelope and give it to security. How about that? Because you ain't about to keep up no communication with Bernard no matter how much other money that Bernard need or that you gave him or he need or you want to give him. I don't care if you want to give him one hundred dollars. You don't need to give it to him or you need to come through me and let me give it to him. Let us give it to him. Let's put a check and put me and your name on the check. Let's give it from the joint bank account. How about that? If you really need to give something to your ex because you're that charitable and you feel like the Lord will bless you or something like that, then I might go with you. But as a general rule, absolutely not. What you said, Ebony McGee said, but you didn't ask for it, baby, because we got to give it so you can hand it to him in school. If we got to give, if we got to, Ain't no just because he need a goddamn new fender on his uh, 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 cutlass or whatever. I don't give a fuck about none of that. That's irrelevant. So all the shit that he, oh, his the big mama, his big mama on his ass. No, 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 no. We don't give for that. We, don't, we ain't giving a goddamn thing for that. We giving our thousand to, we giving our thousand to the NAACP. How about that? We gonna give our shit to the United Negro College Fund. If we gonna give it out and we want it just to bless back to us, we going to give it to the Let Me Stress You Out show. Hit that cash app. Dollar sign Boogie B. LLC. So, Boogie, before you loan your man or something. Now, let me tell you what happens if I loan somebody a $1,000. Now, let me tell you if I had, if something, if, some, if I done loaned somebody a $1,000 and I'm in a relationship with somebody, then I'm probably going to. If I'm probably going to get some coochie for that $1,000. Probably. Not no time soon, but maybe later on down the line. So you better not fuck up. I might not get it while we together. But if you let me loan out $1,000, for sure I'll be able to get that coochie if you slip. You just helping me out. Hey, hell no, Bernard was planning to put some dick on somebody for $1,000 later on down the line. Soon as I fuck up, Bernard was going to end up fucking the shit out at the Lord. And then me and the Lord get back together. And I'll be like, hell no, this coochie smell like Bernard. <laughs> this coochie smell like Bernard Jenkins. Why this coochie? Hell no, you done went and snuck and gave that boy that coochie. After he done loaned you that thousand dollar, you done loaned him that thousand dollar. Hell no. With men and women is different. If I ask you for a thousand dollars, get you out of the car, I'm and I do, no you ain't gonna give me no coup. I'm gonna ask you for it, and you can give it to me, and I'll take it and I'll spend it, and you can ask for it back. I may or may not give it to you, but if you got an old man, uh, chances are I'll be like, now nah, you pretty much gay at me. He don't want me to keep contacting you. <laughs> Tell me the truth. You don't want me to keep contacting you, do you? You in a relationship. You don't want this money back. This was a gift. You ain't going to call me over and over and over and ask for this time. Because, you know, eventually I'm going to say, oh, I'm going to pay you back in dick, at the Lord. I ain't going to pay you back. I'm Bernard Jenkins. I ain't paying you back in a thousand cash dollars. I'm paying you now. I'm paying you in a thousand cash dick dollars. How about that? And the Lord, this is the Let Me Stress You Out show. You can't loan nobody no damn money. Period. No no thousand dollars. No. No, no, no. Especially not if you had that coochie or that dingling before. If you was in a relationship with them before, especially. The deeper relationship you was in with them, the less amount of money you can loan them. You can loan them a dollar if, they, if you had only been messing with them for two weeks or something. You go loan them a dollar. You, if you see them at the gas station with a cup out, put a little dollar in there and keep on going. Because y'all was only together two weeks. If y'all been together for 15 years, 
If you see him and he's standing in the gas station looking for a dollar, you better not put a nickel in that bitch. No, no, no. Y'all got too much of a history. This shit gonna open up a whole no. Thank, no thank you. Thank you, no thank you. How about that? Come on and go with me. Ha. Come on over to IG. I said it's not far from here. We on Facebook and YouTube, but y'all can come on over with me. Come on over to IG. This is part two. Oh, no, let me stress you out show the day is going down. Rest in peace, Paul Mooney. Let's go on over there and give him a shout out. Let's go on over there and give Paul Mooney his love.